Hi everyone, my name is Jan Durbaka and today we're going to taste Chateau Léoville Barton 1994. Let's taste. So before tasting the wine, let's talk a little bit more about Chateau Léoville Barton. Léoville Barton is a very well-known wine producer in Saint-Julien. A lot of wine lovers from Bordeaux, they will probably have tasted this wine already. Um, it's a second growth wine and it's owned for more than 200 years by the same family, which makes it one of the oldest wine families in Bordeaux. They have 50 hectares of vineyard. In this 50 hectares, it's consisted of 77% Cabernet Sauvignon, 20% of Merlot and 3% of Cabernet Franc. The soils of the vineyard is mostly gravelly soils and clay at the subsoil. 1994 is a really tricky vintage for Bordeaux because everything started really well for this vintage. After a really dry and hot summer and a few weeks before the harvest, a heavy rainfall hit all the vineyards of Bordeaux, of course, and some wine producers needed to sacrifice between 30 and 50% of their crop. So let's taste the wine. First of all, it's just amazingly very vibrant red. It's like a little bit of garnet. And it's very hard to, to see some even brownness. I have some small, very small rim of brown at the border, but that's it. And for a 94 vintage, I'm really surprised. On the nose. I have some black fruits, mainly black cherries, some black currants, some very soft notes of leather, some cigar box, a nice paprika, it's really nice. On the palate. Really well balanced. That's, if I would say one word for this wine, it's really well balanced. So, first of all, you have the attack. It's really powerful, actually. It's really fresh, fruity based, long, very long finish. I would even say I'm still tasting the finish, but the backbone of the wine, you see that it's Cabernet Sauvignon. They still provide a lot of freshness to the wine, even for the 94, which is really shocking for me. But yet again, it's Léoville Barton. And next to all those freshness, you still have some fruity left of blackberries. And to come back to the 94 vintage, it has a little bit more tannins, but these are really well integrated. If you like really fresh wines, fruity wines, then you're actually in a really good treat if you open a 94. This really surprised me how still very fresh and fruity this wine is. If you really like older wines, I would suggest uh, laying this wine for an extra five to 10 years, and then he will start taking over the tertiary notes. Cheers.